Hello, my name is Robbie Sko, and welcome to the first one minute Q&A. So let's get that question up and throw 60 seconds on the clock. All right, so the question comes from Yuki, essentially wondering about pickup measures in Ableton, how to set your measure one to really be measure one. But unfortunately, with within Ableton, measure one will be measure one, right? There's not, as far as I know, a way to add in negative two or negative one as a measure. So what I'd recommend is for your song to start on measure five. Let me break down why, right? So you could start on measure two and say your pickup would be right here, beats right beforehand. But if you notice, Ableton has this really nice uh, color theme where it gives every four measures these different shades. And that's gonna be helpful for specifying your different sections because often music will be in multiples of four, right? You got four, eight, 16, 32 bar phrases. So I recommend having your fifth measure actually be your first measure of the song. And that way it's kind of easier to keep everything around. Now I know you followed up with, yeah, that makes the quick math a little bit easier of what's different from your measure numbers if you have that committed to memory. But yeah, just subtract four from what Ableton reads to get your actual measure number. And another helpful tip is to often use these locators, right? So you just hit set to add these locators and you can give a name to certain things, right? So for example, your chorus or your B section, whatever it may be, and you can add in those different places to measure there. And even if you're working on a piece in this current piece, you really have uh, memorized all of your measure numbers really well, you can just go in and kind of annoying, but you can go in and set different measures, right? So like measure 21 would actually be 17. So you can just kind of add in things like that. But again, I'd recommend just starting forward, maybe you want to start measure five as your first measure, and then you can just keep it rolling from there. All right, I hope that cleared things up. And if you have any other follow-up questions, please leave them below. And if you watching have another question, please feel free to leave it in the comments below and maybe you'll be in the next Q&A. So thanks for tuning in and I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.